Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automate channel. Today we are going to conduct Selenium Java mock test interview to our subscriber Mihir. So he is a testing engineer and have around 2 years of experience working in testing industry. So let's quickly evaluate his automation skills. Uh, hi Mihir, can you quickly introduce about yourself? Yes, I do. Uh, so, hi, my name is Mihir Agrawal. Basically, I am from Umbravati, but I am currently training for me. Uh, I have uh, total 2 years of experience in software testing, which includes both manual and automation. So in this project my roles and responsibility are to design and execute test cases for functional and API testing. Uh, in this project uh, we are into agile process where we have sprint of uh, nearly two weeks and we also have daily scrum calls and our team is about uh, 10 people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, other than this, uh, talking about my skills, I am skilled in uh, Selenium with Java and TestNG for UI automation. I am also aware of BDD framework. For API, I am aware of REST Assured with Java and Postman. And uh, for version control, we use GitHub. Yeah, that's all. Okay, okay. So what kind of framework you are working on currently in automation? Uh, currently, I am working on uh, Selenium with TestNG. Okay. So what are the components of your automation framework? So, uh, components of our automation framework is like uh, first uh, we uh, use java as a programming language in our framework then uh, we have a page object model as a design pattern other than this we have listeners then uh, base classes which is responsible for configuration of browser and launching the browser then we have a test package where we keep all the tests and then uh, we have uh, form.xml which is responsible for handling all the dependencies in the project. Okay. So can you explain about your test automation process? So you see Jira, you, you use Jira as test management tool, is it? Yes. So you get the requirements and you start test scripting. So what happens next? Uh, what is the flow of your automation uh, uh, creation? Uh, yeah. Once we are assigned with the ticket, uh, the, my role is to write the test scripts on assigned tickets. So I start writing the scripts. Once I am done, first I confirm it by myself. And then once I am done, then I push my, all my test code to GitHub, uh, to the respective repository. And then uh, the DevOps team handles that uh, to build a pipeline and uh, add that. So they schedule it so on the schedule time the script gets uh, run and we get an email about what's the status of those uh, test scripts okay good so how will you generate test reports what library you are using uh, actually uh, one of my colleague has uh, integrated exchange report uh, in that but uh, we also have uh, test ng default uh, report uh, which get generated after our execution test ng dot uh, yeah index dot html in test output folder okay so are you using test ng annotations yeah so what are the annotations you are using uh, different annotations i have used is uh, at the rate test annotation to write the test scripts then we have uh, uh, data provider before class uh, after class before test after test before method after method these okay. are all auto on it i use okay so what are the code you are uh, written in uh, before class and after class method like uh, whatever if uh, uh, I want to load like before execution of that class. If I want to load something, then I write that into that uh, particular annotation before class. Okay. So what about after class? So after uh, class, what kind of code gets executed? Like uh, the clean up one. Like uh, uh, I have example about after method. After each method, I, I, I have used that in that I have uh, written driver dot get to with the browser after, after every execution. Okay. So, uh, such tools like cleanup tools. Okay, so how many browsers you are automating? Uh, sorry. Uh, how many browsers your test scripts are running? So Chrome, Firefox, uh, etc. Yeah, uh, like uh, we, I have uh, wrote uh, tests uh, in such a way that uh, whatever browser name we pass with the Maven uh, command, it will get executed on that. So basically, we execute all of them on Chrome and then secondary on Firefox browser. Okay, good. So what is page object model? 
सो बेसिकली पेज ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल इज अ डिजाइन पैटर्न विच वी यूज इन अ फ्रेमवर्क फॉर बेटर मेंटेनेबिलिटी एंड रियूजेबिलिटी लाइक वेन एवर इन फ्यूचर इफ द लोकेटर्स गॉट चेंज इट्स इजी टू मेंटेन एंड अपडेट और मेक मॉडिफिकेशन इज दैट ओके सो व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस यू हैव फेस्ड इन योर ऑटोमेशन करियर और डिफिकल्टीज सो फार um or uh, challenges such as like uh, many times we run into error like uh, no uh, uh, stale element error something kind of like element is present on the page but it, we are not able to interact with that such uh, things such challenges i have faced till now like most of the things uh, were in manual from last 3 4 months i am into automation okay good so what are the locators you are using for automation yeah so i use different type of locators like id class class name loom text uh, uh, and then um, xpath css locators yes okay so do you know what is the difference between relative and absolute xpath yeah so relative xpath actually starts from between whereas uh, absolute xpath starts from the root element uh, like uh, from the very root but we prefer mostly relative xpath okay so how will you handle keyboard and mouse actions using selenium um i can use uh, actions class for that okay so how will you automate alert messages uh, for alert messages i can uh, use driver dot switch to alerts and then i can do accept dismiss get text anything what my requirement is okay so how will you automate drop downs or drop downs basically i have used select class uh, using select class i can uh, select any value into the drop down by value text or visible text okay so how will you verify whether a particular element is present in the web page or not using selenium um i can use uh, is displayed method okay. like uh, lo- i will locate that and i can use is displayed okay very good so um okay So, how will you rate yourself in Java concepts out of five? In Java concept out of five, I can rate myself at three point five something. Three, I guess. Okay. So, what are the OOPs concepts you are aware of? OOPs concept I am aware of like inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, and uh, abstraction. Okay. So, what is method overloading and method overriding? method overloading basically means uh, there are two different uh, different method with uh, same name in the class uh, they are distinguished on the basis of parameter count or uh, parameter data type so this is method overloading and i think can be uh, said as like uh, method with same name into different class uh, we are overriding it by giving our own implementation okay what is the use of finally block Finally, block actually we use in exception handling. Like after try and catch block, we can use finally block. So whether it's exception, uh, we get exception or not, the finally block will execute on it. Okay. So what is the difference between abstract class and interface? Uh, like abstract class, uh, we can have both abstract and non-abstract method, but in interface we mostly have a uh, abstract methods. Okay. So, what are our interfaces you are using in your framework? Can you repeat? So, what are the interfaces you are using in your automation framework? Okay. So, interfaces I have used is like a uh, web driver is the first interface I used. Then uh, in listeners class uh, I have also used uh, i listeners, and also I have uh, used i try i retry analyzer. Okay. Okay. So, what are the Java collections concept you are aware of? Yeah. So, Java collections I am aware of list, set, and map. Okay. So, what is the difference between hash map and hash set? Uh, like uh, we use hash set when store we need to store just a value, but uh, hash map we use when we need to store key value pairs. Okay. So, are you using any Java collections concept in your Selenium framework? uh yeah like uh, when i switch between multiple window in a browser i use set uh, that time uh, to store the uh, um, browser tabs and then uh, while i was uh, 
back when I was uh, automating uh, APIs, at that time I used uh, hash map to store to some key value pairs. Okay. So, what is the difference between array and array list? Like uh, array list is basically dynamic and arrays are have a big size. So when I'm suppose I'm working with a uh, e-commerce uh, page and I have to collect uh, all the product and I don't know the actual count, then at that scenario I can use array list. That's the better one. Okay. So um, consider a string, okay, which has duplicate values, like. Uh, uh, take your name as a string, Mihir. It has two i values, right? So I want you to explain yes. a Java program which removes duplicate characters and print only unique values in the output. You you just uh, have to so explain the you logic. Want, you want me to just have uh, M I H R? Uh, yes. M I H R. Remove the duplicate okay. value you want. I. Uh, okay. So I think I can use set like uh, I can. Uh, iterate over that string and then I can uh, add each and every character to a set uh, as set do not uh, accept any duplicate value it won't accept uh, i twice okay do you directly pass all these values inside a set or do you use any methods before passing mm -hmm. it to the set before passing uh, like uh, I will need to use uh, caret method uh, to get the proper character Okay, so okay, good. So let's uh, move to agile and manual testing questions. Okay, so what are the agile ceremonies you are aware of? Um, in my project, we use uh, like sprint planning. Whatever what uh, features are we are going to work in the sprint, and then we have daily scrum calls. Then uh, uh, we have a last meeting, which is like of uh, mix of retrospective and uh, review meeting. Okay. So how long sprint planning meeting will be happening? What will be the duration of planning meeting? Uh, that is actually mostly done by the senior people like uh, my manager and all. But uh, I guess it's 2-3 uh, days like to plan a particular sprints and then we start working on the sprint. Okay. So are you part of this meeting sprint planning? Yeah, but we are part, but uh, mostly the decisions are made by the team leads and managers. Okay. So, what will you discuss in uh, retrospective meeting? Uh, in retrospective, we can uh, discuss like uh, whatever we work we did and what way we did. So, if we want any modifications to be made, like uh, this work can we be done in that way or this way. So we can give such suggestions and ask for these changes. Okay. So, what do you mean by regression testing? Sorry. Regression testing. What do you mean by regression testing? Okay. So basically, regression testing means testing all the modules. Like uh, whenever we make any fix or uh, new feature is uh, added, so we test the existing functionality whether they are not affected by the new functionality or new fixes. Okay. So, what do you mean by localization testing? Have you heard of localization testing? Uh, so no, localization testing. Sorry. Okay. So, our website might be working in different countries, right? So, we have to test in diff different languages also. Okay. So, that is uh, localization testing. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have gone through one concept, but uh, we named it as internationalization. Okay. Uh, so our uh, applicants support some two three different different languages not every but uh, two three different languages so while doing that uh, uh, we were asked to test that whenever we change the language preference then uh, our application should uh, behave in for that language like every text value and all yes okay so what do you mean by smoke testing Smoke testing is basically like uh, whenever we receive a new build for testing, so we perform smoke testing to verify if that build is uh, stable or not for uh, testing purpose. Okay, good. So consider a login page, okay, which has username field, password field, and login button. So what are the major test cases you will write here? Mm, like um, mainly, which test cases I have wrote here is like. To verify with uh, a correct ID and password, then uh, invalid ID password, then uh, uh, few scenarios like uh, without uh, giving the password or the username. 
and by keeping both the field as blank okay okay error message validation you have covered and uh, critical functionalities you have covered try to do some url validations also so with okay. http with http yes and we have to cover accessibility testing keyboard mouse validations so those are not okay. critical but we have to add it along with our test cases okay yeah like uh, we should be able to log in by clicking on keyboard lo- enter button yeah correct okay yeah okay okay mayor actually i am done from my side so for a two year experience candidate i think you have very good knowledge in automation framework selenium java collections concept and manual testing and agile concept you should be able to clear almost most of the interviews okay so okay. Uh, you are in a very good position and you have good communication skills also so uh, you can connect with me if you need any help on advanced selenium concepts or java collections or any other java concepts okay i'll be happy to help you okay. yeah yeah sure so thanks for connecting with my channel uh, have a good day then bye yeah same to you bye